Hiya and welcome to today's video and I'll show you how to get ready for Christmas Harry Potter style. First of all, I'd just like to say that I made a similar video two years ago. Here's the link. It's 25 festive Harry Potter things to do. And this year I've just added a couple more things that I've been doing and I thought you might want to know about. First of all, the decorations. Uh, as you can kind of see behind me, I've put up baubles on a string because there's not much room in my room for a proper Christmas tree. So it's been keeping up there for a couple of days now, so that's good. And I also obviously suggest stockings. They're always lovely and there are lots of great Harry Potter options out there now. more to say about the old ball than I did two years ago. In the Hermione Granger artifact box there is this lovely metal decoration. It's, it looks like the old ball invitations. It doesn't say invite to but it is, it's the same thing. Um, that would be wonderful to put up on a Christmas tree if you can get the Hermione artifact box. And they also have this old ball poster which would be wonderful to put up in your room. It feels so wintry, so Christmassy and it's very shiny. I also suggest getting cosy with Harry Potter things. Primark does lots of things. A thing that I found this year that I really like is this gift box of a hot water bottle, an eye mask and socks. It's wonderful. It's £10 and I've been wanting to get all these things in Harry Potter anyway. I have a couple of socks but I want some new ones and it's a wonderful combination. It's called a gift set and it says O mask, cozy socks and hot water bottle. You can also obviously give Harry Potter gifts. I found this Harry Potter makeup bag set in Primark for £8 that I'm going to be giving to one of my friends. I'm also going to be putting some badges in one of the makeup bags and a Doctor Who mint box in the other one and that's a brilliant gift I think because it's useful and you can use makeup bags not just for makeup, you can use them as pencil cases or just as storing things in them. I use various makeup bags to store badges in so it's a good thing. And Primark also do lots of Harry Potter gift wrap. Uh, I've gotten two this year but I've seen three. I didn't get the third one because I was uh, in a bit of a rush and uh, walking out the Primark. But this white one with gold decals is really 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 pretty and then there's this chibi brown one that looks a bit more rustic and but I like them both. The brown one is five meters and a pound fifty, the white one is two pound and four meters. You can also make Harry Potter gifts. Uh, the ones I'm about to show you aren't quite Harry Pottery, but you can make your own candles like I have for my friends this year. Candles are really easy to make. You can get things for candles very cheaply. I got 20 of these little jars for four pounds from Wilco, essential oils, wicks, and wick centering devices for 12 pounds from eBay overall and then a bit of hot glue for decoration and wax crayons from Poundland for colours and it's a really fun to make candles you need a double boiler and uh, I recommend you know being prepared to spend a few hours on it if you're making quite a few or to refill it because they do tend to sink for some reason it's wonderful because you can get them exactly the scent you want and you can make them in house colours or just general colourful things. I only made mine one colour but you could layer up different colours to be think house colour candles are a brilliant idea if you can make them. And then obviously also Harry Potter advent calendars. There is uh, I'm filming this on the 15th which is why there are this many doors open. There is this Harry Potter advent calendar with a bracelet in it uh, that I didn't particularly want but someone got it for me on the 3rd or 4th of December and it was £5 at that point. Oh, I recommended the retail price is £18 so that's pretty nice. I like the charms might repurpose them into badges maybe uh, this is what it looks like so far and i'd also like to use this opportunity to show you what i've got in my advent calendar and uh, here is what i put into my advent calendar in number one we had uh, ravenclaw and hufflepuff cookie cutters in number two we had some badges in number three we had some harry potter socks number four a harry potter bottle but refused brain elixir in number five we had some harry potter stickers in number six a harry potter lego minifigure in number seven some more harry potter badges in number eight the gryffindor and slytherin cookie cutters in number nine another harry potter some other harry potter badges in number 10 we had the hogwarts and harry potter cookie cutters in number 11 
have some more Harry Potter badges. In number 12, the Elder Wand keyring. In number 13, another Harry Potter bottle, Armantisha. That was a bad pronunciation. In number 14, some more Harry Potter stickers. In number 15, another set of Harry Potter socks. In number 16, some more Harry Potter socks. In number 17, another bottle, Wolfsbane. In number 18, another bottle, this time Pepper Up Potion. In number 19, another bottle, Draught of Peace. In number 20, the last set of badges, I believe. In number 21, the last set of Harry Potter stickers. In number 22, another bottle, Polyjuice Potion. In number 23, another bottle, Felis Felicis. Of course, I had then managed to make a big mess by spilling the Felis Felicis, and I did try scooping it back in. Didn't really work, so I continued the rest with gold glitter everywhere. In number 24, another bottle, Veritas Serum. And in number 25, the handmade Harry Potter wand. Some of my favourite things that I said in the video two years ago are uh, making Harry Potter drinks and gingerbread cookies. If you want some more suggestions for what to put in an advent calendar or just general Harry Potter gifts, I mentioned that in my last video if you'd like to see that. And uh, I think the most important thing about uh, this winter holiday is to be happy, as happy as you can be, enjoy rewatching the Harry Potter movies as I'm sure many of us will, and just in general have fun. Thank you ever so much for watching this video, I really do hope that you enjoyed it, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye! So I've put up boop baubles just on a string.